Welcome back to Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Also streaming to you live on yorbamedia.com. My guest this segment is Nick Santiago, President and CEO of InTheMoneyStocks.com. And as many of the guests on our, uh, I should say the audience in our uh, listening audience around the world have said about Nick, it, this is Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth on deck now, Babe Ruth in the box. Thanks for showing up, Nick. Thanks for having me, Michael. Nice compliment there as well. Well, it might, they, I'm telling you, they line up on the shout box going, is he up? Is he up? I'm on. I'm on. What's he got now? <laughs> <laughs> so, so really, let's talk about that TLT. Been knocking it out of the park with that one. Yeah, I, I think what traders need to do, though, on that TLT, and I, I, I'm sure that a lot of your listeners may have that position, but you really want to trail that stop up there now because we're coming into the holiday uh, holiday time frame. Thanksgiving will be this Thursday. Half of trade, half a trading day, half a trading session on Friday. Uh, also, you, you know, a lot of people are anticipating this Christmas rally. So. Um, it, Either way, just just tighten up the stops on 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 any position where you know that is anti the market. So um, the TLT, if you're long, just tighten it up. It doesn't mean you have to get out of the position. Just just tighten your stop up there. Maybe you'll take a little bit off up here at the 120 level, lock in some gains. Um, but just tighten up the stop as we are going into that light volume time frame. I gotcha. And it looks to me like uh, it's lower than it uh, opened, so we we may start to get a bearish. Uh, Gapped up and it's lower than it's open, so we it may give us a negative or a bearish Japanese candlestick. Is what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, I mean, you know, with the problems that are going on in Europe, we could wake up tomorrow and this thing could be up two, three dollars. Um, right. Which is, which is the reason why you you still want to have it or hold it, but just just trail the stop now. There's no sense. You know, there was great money made on that. I mean, I think I was on your show. I talked about it at 110 dollars. You did. That, it's at 120 now. So, you know, I never like to see anybody give anything away, uh, give anything back. You know, you'll get another shot at that again. I, I'm sure of that. Okay, and the GLD. Let's move forward with that one. Yeah, well, when you're looking at gold today, um, if we take a look at the chart, you're going to see that uh, gold has rallied up a little bit off the lows, and that always signals that the market is starting to inflate, um, and the dollar has also started to come down, the U.S. dollar index. So whenever I see GLD started to rally up off the lows a little bit, it's been a great sell-off. We talked about the 175 resistance level. Um, I guess it traded down to around the 162 level today on the GLD, uh, 162.07. You know, now gold's getting a little bit of a late-day bounce. It's telling me that they're trying to inflate this market. When I say they, it, it could be the inst- it's the institutions, whether it's a central bank or not. We never actually know. But when I see this type of action, you know, traders need to be a little bit cautious and, and just realize that um, – you know, somebody's out there trying to inflate this market up, and gold is telling us that right now. Okay. Do you feel that it's going to get any legs to it, or this is a dead cat bounce? or what, what's uh, Dead cat at best. <laughs> this is, um, you know, there's always a chance. I don't even think that, that the, you know, uh, if the market rallies, it's even going to be that great. We're going to have a lot of choppiness because Europe is just a, such a disaster right now. Then on top of it, you have... Um, you know, the super committee in the United States, uh, these guys can't, do, you know, they can't come to any uh, any resolution. So, there, there's, you know, it, it will be a dead cat bounce at best. Okay. And do you have an idea where you think it may ro- a drop to? I ultimately think gold is going to head a lot lower um, into next year. You know, I, I think we'll, we're going to see $150 GLD with no problem. Um, but in the short term, uh, you know, it, it's trying to it's trying to bounce here. It's trying to hold up a little bit, and and it, and it might be able to do that. At, at you know, at this point. Okay. All right. One fifty is pretty good. That's down there in the uh, well, July of last year, I think. It yeah, was. I, I think it may even go lower than than that ultimately by you know some point early next year. But um, I'll give that conservative view at the moment. Okay. Let's get into the financial stocks. Yeah, if you look at the financial stocks today, you're going to notice that um, a lot of tr- what I like to do is I like to look at the broker dealer index, and um, you know that? that would include Goldman Sachs, it would include Jefferies. Um, you're going to see that the broker dealer index is really not down all that much today. It's down about um, what's the symbol for those who don't know it? The, the ticker symbol um, for me is dollar sign XBD, um, but you you can use. Um, it may be dollar sign XBD dot X for a lot of platforms, but it's XBD for me. Okay. Um, and what I noticed today is it's only down 96 cents, which is telling me that the financials um, are holding up, or at least the broker-dealer index is holding up pretty well. And I like to watch that as a gauge. And I ran some calculations, 
And, uh, you know, I do see a lot of support down here around the 78 level for the broker-dealers. That's what I've, you know, told my, my listeners and um, my, my, my members. So, um, you know, when I see the broker-dealers holding up, like, around this level, i got to think they're going to try maybe to, to bounce this market over the next couple of days, even though, you know, we're down pretty sharply today. I'm looking at it. Do you think we're going to bounce to any particular level? Like uh, on a daily, the 50, po- uh, 50 period moving average is at 80, 85. Yeah, what I had was, um, yeah, it's at 85. I don't even think, I'm not even sure we'll get up to that level. But I think they could probably chop it around here in the low 80s. Okay. Um, right now, you're into a pretty decent uh, short-term support level around here. This level may not hold more than a couple of days, but there is short-term support right around this um, 70, 78 level, right, right at 78, and we pierced that today. So overall, you're still bearish looking for a place to short it if it rallies too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, this, this, I, I'm, I'm praying for a bounce because that will just give us another shorting opportunity. All right, let's get some insight from you on the Super Committee because you brought it up earlier, but let's open that. Well, I, you know, I think that the, you know, you look at all the, all that's going on right now with Occupy Wall Street, and you know, earlier last year we had the, the Tea Party rallies and things like that. I think that the American public is just getting tired of the politicians, and um, to see the system brought down to just twelve people now instead of uh, you know all of the members of Congress is, is kind of a little bit of a joke. Um, and and I, I just think that you know this is just one more nail in the coffin for this market going forward. That you, you know you're down to 12 people, and you can see how 12 people um, can't come up with any conclusions, or they can't come up with any resolutions. It's just a, a mockery of the entire system. And you know that you know they talk about um, in, installing faith or or in the in the in the stock markets. This is just not the way to do it. Um, Washington needs to really just get out of the way and let the markets be markets. Well, they're they're not gonna. We both know that. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah, they're not gonna. They're not gonna do that. Let's let me get a question. I know you want to talk about the FXC, but I've got a buddy of mine that's uh, is in the oil trade, and I just want to get your opinion on this crude oil. Yeah, um, I think the last time I was on your show, we talked about a uh, pretty good resistance level for crude up here. Um, let me just get my crude chart up, and then I could uh, comment a little bit better. But. Um, Overall, uh, you had a nice little sell-off last week. Um, I, I think crude could, could go down and test the 94 level in the short term, and then there, there's a fair amount of support there. But overall, um, you know, we're going to into a, a holiday driving season here. So, you know, you have Thanksgiving. People will be traveling. The Wednesday before Thanksgiving is always the heaviest uh, travel day of the year. So, you know, oil may hang in there and hold up, but overall – Everything's coming down. It doesn't even matter. If you've got, got some time here, um, oil's not really going to take off. And, and as I said a few weeks ago on your show, anytime we get over $90 a barrel, we're only within a couple of months uh, of another major correction. I got it. Now, i got big cycle days showing up here uh, uh, Friday and then Tuesday next week. Any comments on that before we get to FXE? Well, I, I have to think, I have to probably say, yeah, you're right. I mean, the, third, the Friday after Thanksgiving is usually, you know, uh, an up day or a day where the market will rally. Uh, then you're going into um, really the end of the month. So, uh, you know, there, there's possible possibility that the market could get a bounce here um, in the near term. Uh, so I wouldn't have any problem with any of your dates there. Okay, let's go to FXE before we close out. Yeah, the FXE today actually is um, it, it's just down a little bit. It's really made a big, big move off the lows of the day. Um, as you know, I, I talked to, to you a, a while back, and um, we went short the FXE around um, 140.90, and it's been a, a great trade so far. I still have traders, and I'm holding a little bit on the short side via using the EUO trade, which is an inverse ETF on the, on the FXE. Let's let those guys know it's at 134 now, 134 half. Right now, now it's at one thirty-four and a half. But ultimately, um, you know, out of any outside of any short-term bounce, I'll, this is something I'll be looking to um, sell again the FXE. I think the euro ultimately is going down to that 128 level. Okay, so you're looking for a little bounce here. Yeah, yeah, definitely a little bit of a bounce here uh, in the near term, and um, but nothing more than that. And if anybody that's holding it short, 
Um, just just have a stop in the money and let this thing uh, play out. I think it's going to give us a lot more downside. All right, all right. Well, you're not no choking up on the bat for you. You've knocked it out of the park so many times. But you know, we're, we're every, the other team is getting a little burnt out on showing up against against you. <laughs> well, we'll try to keep doing it, Michael. We'll try to keep doing it. All right. Before we close, we got about a minute left. Let's let's talk what how people get in contact with you. How do they get into the trading room and what they can get out of it? Sure. Um, well, you just come to InTheMoneyStocks.com. Uh, take a free whirl around our website. We offer a seven-day free trial to our chat room, to our research center. Research center will update you each and every night via videos. We'll also post charts up there that we're looking at in all the trades that we're in. A lot of traders today, we took a lot of money off the table. We were short the S&P 500 uh, via the SDS for around $19 and change, and we closed out that position uh, this morning at the market lows. And um, come, come by, give us a test drive, see what we're made out of. Uh, once you're in, usually you don't want to leave. That's what, I, that's what I normally tell people. That's the way it is, too. All right, Nick, thanks for coming on the show, buddy. Have a great holiday, Michael. Take care. You, too. All right, everybody, that was Nick Santiago, InTheMoneyStocks.com. Go to InTheMoneyStocks.com. Tell them I sent you.